everyone, it's Christina. Welcome back to another video. Today is something a little bit different. I've done try-ons and unboxings on my channel, but today we're going to be doing an unboxing. We are going to be taking a look at Taylor's cookies, um, Taylor chip cookies, and oh, <laughs> it just came in, and I just wanted to share the process with you because it's been the rave that I've been seeing online. So I thought, let's just dive into something sweet this time. So taking a look online, I have to say these are probably the most expensive cookies I've ever bought because for a dozen, you're looking around $70, which seems like a lot for cookies. Um, you can do half a dozen for what looks like to be 50 bucks, 49, 97, and then a dozen for 68.94. Um, and I believe I also had to pay for shipping as well, um, which was a shame. Uh, when you're spending that kind of money. So my total came out to be $82.94. That's what I paid for a dozen cookies. Let's see if it was worth it, right? So it comes in a box like this. Their box, their shipping label here. You open it up and it says delightfully perfect cookies, big enough to share. So they're not your average size, like a couple bites and they're gone. They're huge, you can share it with people. Um, but I don't share, so I'm gonna eat it all. Uh, cookie perfection delivered. So then you open it. It'll have your shipping label, and then it tells you actually how to make them a little bit like um, gooier when you're eating it. So the first one is you want gooey cookies. So 300 degrees in the oven for three to five minutes. So I'm actually gonna turn on the oven right now. Three hundred, three hundred to the lower oven. So while I'm waiting for that. Um, and then it says you can keep them good for up to three months, which is crazy. So four days on the counter, seven days in the fridge, and three months in the freezer. So they give you a little cookie sheet like this, and it explains how to keep them nice and fresh. So, ooh, that's a lot of cookies. If you know me, you know I have the biggest sweet tooth on earth. No matter what time of day it is, if there's something sweet in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. I think I get it from my dad. So here's all the cookies. I There were a couple in here that I got like two of. Um, they do have like a subscription, I think, on their site as well where you could pay a little bit extra and you get some type of cookies that they don't offer to the general public that's just trying them out. So you get like little special treats. I hope they offer free shipping for that too. Um, I got one gluten-free cookie. As you can tell, it's already broken apart. This is just chocolate chip. I got the lava cake because I love lava cake and everything is labeled um, nice for you. There we go. So lava cake, the perfect client gift. <laughs> I love lava cakes. Oh my God, so good. So I did get two of those in case I wanted to share, which I really don't. Um, I got s'mores. Oh my God, s'mores. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan of peanut butter, so I got Jared the peanut butter explosion. So that can be, you know, all for him. Let's see, what else did I get? I forget what I got. Ooh, the classic chocolate chip. So this one is not vegan, while this one is, so you can see the difference in the cookies. This one, the vegan one, is falling apart. And this one is still all together. And um, it has, you know, the serving size and everything on the back for you, which who looks at that when they're eating sweets. And then let's see, well, I have another s'mores one. So I did get two of those. Seems like they melted a little bit. And let's see, after I ordered, it took about a week and a half to get in. Um, brookie, which looks like it's just um, brownie and cookie, which would make sense. So that looks freaking delicious. Um, peanut butter fudge. I think that's what PB is. Oh, I must've gotten Jared too. Oh, how nice of me. So that's another one. I think that's what that stands for. Ooh, peanut butter fudge. I was right, it was a peanut butter fudge. I got them too. Why did I do that? Uh, another brookie. Ooh, so I got two of those. So I got two brookies, two s'mores, and two lava cakes. Double chocolate brownie. <laughs> so like chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Oh my gosh. And then the last one, Oreo and cream. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that one. So as you can see, like this is my hand. Look how big that is. So that's not your average, you know, tiny cookie. So to start, I wanna like try them all. I am gonna try the vegan one because we're gonna see how good is being vegan. And then I'll probably try a s'more because <laughs> I want s'mores right now. 
so these all look good so remember if you buy them and they're sitting on your counter they're good for four days if you put them in the fridge they're good for seven days and if you put them in the freezer they're good for three months 30 60 90 days that's crazy i don't know how good that's gonna taste though i feel like you know if you eat them right away it's nice and fresh let me get a cookie sheet this is already falling apart oh my gosh i'm actually really 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 excited i love sweets it doesn't take much to make me happy just give me some sugar some sugar all right this one because it's falling apart i don't know what that's gonna happen with that might get warmed up a lot faster because it's just pieces. I'm gonna try. Okay. Tastes like your average chocolate chip cookie. Doesn't taste any different for being vegan, so. That's cool. All right, I'll take a bite of this more one. Oh, now that's out of the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. It's like falling apart. Look at the size of that. It's huge. And that's what she said. All right, I'll take a little bite. All right. Mmm. It's good. It's really, really good. Is it $82 good? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot for sugar. But we'll see. I gotta warm them up and then we'll try it again. Okay, it's all heated. So I think it was the bottom one. I don't have the gloves. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Let's put a timer. three minute timer we'll see what happens so i want to just go through real quick and show you guys um some of the cookies they have this is not sponsored by the way um so they have a section that's classic they've got birthday cake key lime pie gluten free vegan chocolate chip peanut butter nutella oh my gosh if it wasn't peanut butter i would have gotten it Kitchen sink, see these are their join the cookie club brownie, high five, ooh the lava cake. See they put powdered sugar on theirs, I don't think mine came with that. Cinnamon bun, peanut butter explosion, a brookie, chocolate chip, chocolate chip biscuit. I mean look at all these, M&M, peanut butter and jelly, ooh who wants that as a cookie? Oatmeal raisin, ooh Oreos and cream, that's what I got. It didn't look like that but that's what I got. Salted caramel pretzel, snickerdoodle, white chocolate macadamia nut it's i mean they have a lot of flavors they also have vegan section they've got two four six seven vegan cookies and then they also have gluten free okay so i got the gluten free and the vegan chocolate chip that's what i got so it's both guess what's done i gave it another like 40 seconds it was like three minutes and 40 seconds by now probably like four minutes I like to leave it open because then I get some warmth in here. Okay, let's see. I'm using a fork. Okay, they're a little warm. Oh, hot. Oh. Oh. Huh. I always do it for my help. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so hot. Oh, okay. Definitely tastes better warmer, of course, because it's now gooey. So, the vegan chocolate chip one, the gluten-free one, tastes great. Be careful, the chocolate chips are hot. Oh, the tiniest little piece. Still didn't learn my lesson after the first time. Okay, well, now we're just gonna sit here and wait. I cut a little piece of the s'mores one, and it's falling apart. You guys see my cat? Do you wanna, you know I don't like it. Do you approve Taylor cookies? Mm. All right. I have to be so careful. I don't wanna burn myself again. Okay. 
Okay. For some reason, when I eat that one, the s'mores one, to me, it tastes like Quest bars. You know those like protein Quest bars, which don't sit well actually personally with me with my stomach? That's like what I taste more than tasting an actual s'more. I'm not saying it's bad, but that's like the first thing that popped into my mind, Quest bars. I'll try one more bite, but I don't think I would eat this whole thing. I'll try some with the marshmallow on top. Focus! Okay, there it is. It's like falling off my finger. <laughs> I already have like a, I'm sugared out. I don't think I could eat a whole cookie. That is so much like sugar in two bites. Let me go back to the vegan one. That vegan one tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. It's good. Mm. You know, why did I turn this off? I wanna try one more. It seems like on their site, it's either half a dozen or a dozen. You can also do like favorites, like you could get all nutty ones and they'll put them in a box for you. Or you could do fan favorites and they'll put them in a box for you. Um, or you can get some that have come, come like with a candle. But you can't just buy one cookie, which would, you know, I guess that makes sense because they have the ship these. I think they have like some local stores that you can shop from. I can't get the s'mores one off because it is so sticky. Yeah. I don't know. I love s'mores, but that cookie isn't doing it for me. So I would rather eat the vegan one over that one. But we'll try one more. Sorry, this is probably a very boring video for you, but we're gonna try one more. I'm gonna go for the lava cake. Yeah, I guess I got two of those, so I'll do one more. Personally, 70 bucks, 85, I guess, after shipping a lot of money for cookies so if you're getting them like for a party and for everyone to try or like a tea party or baby shower wedding shower or something like that or if you want to be like me and sit on the couch and eat a bunch of cookies that's fine too but for me it'd probably be like all right try them once i don't have to go spend that kind of money um unless you have a group of people and you want to split the cookies but 85 bucks for a box of cookies it's, it's a lot it's a lot of sugar not gonna lie we're gonna try the lava cake one more, see what happens. I'm gonna try four minutes this time, see what happens. I'm gonna also go grab my powdered sugar because on their site, their photo, they showed putting powdered sugar on top, which is what you're supposed to do with lava cakes. Anyway, guess what's done? Guess, guess what's done? Okay, it's hot, 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 hot. All right, so what I didn't realize is that Taylor Chip is actually located in Pennsylvania. That's where I am. So they have, they have locations where you could like walk into the store and grab one. They have them in Hershey, PA, um, Lancaster, PA, and Intercourse, PA. So, but they do ship, I think, probably all over the country. I have my little scooper. We're gonna do some powdered sugar, do some. Sprinkle a little bit. I love powdered sugar. Oh, fork. I contaminated by s'mores. All right. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Mmm. Okay. Let's focus. Focus. Okay. So it is actually very goopy. Look at it. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Like a lava cake. Like, like a lava cake. It's not. Focusing on me. Shimmy, shimmy. Mmm. I love lava cake. Okay. Mm hmm. Tastes like a lava cake, but oh my god. One bite, and you're just like, check, please. It's good, but it's 
Like, I can't imagine eating a whole one. So, Taylor Chip cookies, they're good, they're pricey, um, but they do have locations you can walk in and just buy one. I think they said each cookie is around five ounces, so they're pretty, you saw it, they're pretty big. Good, pricey, you know, try it out, see if you like it. Good as gifts, but yeah, for me, I'm good with one and done. You can also be, as soon as like you buy them, I got an email saying that if people buy using your code, every time like you get five bucks put into your pot and then you eventually you could like buy your own cookies. So they do have like influencer type affiliating, marketing, things like that. Oh, I need water. But yeah, let me know, have you tried Taylor Cookie? Do you like it? Let me know, not bad. Follow me on TikTok because I'm gonna try the other cookies on there, actually probably right after this. So go on there and let me know um, what you guys think and of those other flavors. Obviously I won't be trying the peanut butter one because I'm not a peanut butter fan, but I definitely think that these cookies would taste better if they're warmed up rather than just straight out of the bag. Because cookies with, oh, a glass of milk, if you like milk, I don't, but if you do, that would be probably perfect. Probably balance out how sweet it all is. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what else you guys want me to try on this channel, any other foods. I'm always doing clothing stuff. Let's try something different. Vacuum, should I vacuum some stuff? <laughs> anyway, let me know. Follow me on Instagram. All my links are in the description below. My link tree, it's got everything. Patreon, OnlyFans, TikTok, Instagram, other YouTube channels. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one.